if you are self-employed, getting a mortgage just got incredibly more difficult because of COVID. It's already been difficult to get a mortgage if you're self-employed, right? Because you have income that's fluctuating. You also have business expenses that you're most likely writing off so that your net profit is lower than your actual revenue. Okay, and COVID has created so much uncertainty that lenders have put in new rules. So we're gonna explain what these rules are for conventional loans and FHA loans. So thanks for so much for watching. My name is Kyle with Win the House You Love. Let's go ahead and dive into this. So lenders, what they want, what most guidelines say, they, they want stable and reasonable expectation of continuance with income and employment. That's their main goal is to see, is your income stable? Have you been receiving it over the past two years? And do you anticipate receiving that in the future? And so because COVID has caused so much uncertainty, especially with self-employed um, buyers, they're putting in these extra standards, okay? So normally on a conventional loan, you have a year-to-date profit and loss, and this is normally required uh, almost like a pay stub. So if you're a W-2 employer, you're giving a pay stub to a lender. But when you're self-employed, you're giving a profit and loss most of the time, kind of to show your year-to-date earnings that your tax returns don't show. And then the lender is going to use what's called a cash flow analysis, and I'll put a link down to uh, Form 1084 that lender uses to determine what income you showed over the past two years. Now that just shows the average past two years of income for that calendar year. It doesn't actually show your year to date. So for instance, we're in uh, almost December 1st right now. So a lender would only be able to see 2019 and 2018 income, but not actually 2020 income. And since COVID has happened, lenders want to make sure that your income has been stable over 2020 and beyond for however long this lasts. So that's why they want a profit and loss. Now, you have two options here, all right? Option one is getting an audited year-to-date profit and loss. Okay, this needs to be audited by a third party. If you have that, perfect, that's all that you need. If it's unaudited, and for a lot of self-employed people, they're turning in an unaudited profit and loss, mainly because it's expensive to get your profit and loss audited, or maybe you don't have a designated uh, accountant or CPA. So if you have an unaudited year-to-date profit and loss that you give to a lender, you're gonna to have to submit three months of your bank statements. Now, this used to be two months. That was the standard guideline on conventional loans, but now it's three months. A lender wants to see three months of your bank statements to back up the income that you showed on your profit and loss. So obviously this is lenders reaching a little bit. They're trying to see, you know, do you have uh, consistency of income with what's been happening with COVID. Now, really quickly, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That helps a ton in sharing this uh, with other people. Now, let's talk about FHA. So FHA is even more strict than the conventional side because what they actually want now is they say they want one of the following on an FHA loan for a self-employed buyer. They want evidence of current work, so things like uh, executed contracts or signed invoices, or evidence of current receipts within 10 days of the closing date. So they wanna see that the business is still operational. Now this is huge because this, this didn't used to exist. Uh, this wasn't a requirement before COVID happened. Lenders now want to make sure that uh, you have your business is still ongoing, is still receiving income, still has the ability to pay you so that you can pay back this mortgage. On top of that, a lender has to certify that the business is open and they're normally gonna do this through uh, a phone call or, or verifying an online listing. And then they're also going to um, look at the business website, demonstrating activity, supporting current business operations. So basically they want to see that like uh, you function as a business and they can verify that um, more than just you saying it. They want to be able to see that you have an online presence, uh, that they can verify you have money coming into your business. And uh, this is a little bit overreaching, but um, this is kind of, this is the guideline that's been given by FHA because of the uncertainty with COVID. So all in all, if you're looking at these loans, just be prepared to have this documentation ready. If you're self-employed and getting a loan during this time for the foreseeable future until the uncertainty with COVID ends, these guidelines are most likely going to stay in place and may become even more strict depending on uh, how this pandemic plays out over the next few months. So if you want to know two of the main loans that are used by self-employed buyers, check out this video over here. It's going to give you all the ins and outs of those.